on what Attorney General Holder said yeah, last week? I, I'm not sure what Judge Wu needs. I, I don't, I'm not, I'm not entirely certain. Um, I, I'm so, so no, I can't answer that. Have jurors stepped forward in this case to uh, make a recommendation about sentencing? Every single juror that we've spoken to, every single juror, uh, I think we've spoken to nine of the 12 and we've spoken to somewhere between 15 and 20 prospective jurors who were dismissed by the government. Um, every single juror has asked for a probationary sentence. Every one. What about the minor issue? Oh, uh, people do make a big deal about the minor issue. Um, I think that's something we heard from a minor. Uh, his name is Sergeant Zachary Stotts. Uh, he's a, uh, a soldier fighting in the 101st Airborne Division in Afghanistan, and he submitted a videotape. Uh, he, he discusses that distinction. A lot of people, you're going to hear the press secretary for the DOJ in here uh, talk about Charlie selling to minors. That is absolutely true. But state law is different than federal law. Under federal law, Sergeant Stotts, who's serving in the military in Afghanistan, is a minor. Under state law, he could come in if he had a prescription from a doctor and buy medicinal marijuana from Charles Lynch, period. That's the truth. So really, that is such a misconception that somehow Charlie was violating state law because he was selling to minors. That's just, for lack of a better word, that's a lie. You have at least the statements that we've heard so far from Attorney General Holder uh, indicate that somehow state law is now relevant to these prosecutions. Uh, well, the government, as everyone here who covered the trial knows, argued for days to keep state law out of it. And the reason they did that is because Charlie was in complete compliance with state law. And we're now asking for the adults in Washington, D.C., not the locals in here, to recognize the will of the people of the state of California and we're asking them to do it because it's the right thing to do. We're asking them to do it because it's actually now got the political will. It's clearly, uh, it's clear now that the feds have been on the wrong side of history for some time. Um, but most importantly, we're asking that the Obama administration take a look at this for one reason. And that's because Charles Lynch is not Pablo Escobar. Charles Lynch is the most decent man who has ever been prosecuted in this building. Are you hopeful about the judge's request from the Department of Justice that he wants to know if there has been a change in Washington? You know, it's our understanding that Mr. Ogden, who is the, I guess at this point, uh, the first guy, first man under uh, Eric Holder, who's a great guy, we all love him here. Uh, we, are, we understand that he was sworn in, I think, six business days ago. Uh, yeah, I think it's fair to say that they're busy. They've got Guantanamo, they've got state secrets issues, they've got uh, torture to deal with, and I think it's fair that medical marijuana is not necessarily that high up on their list. But it's high up on our list because we represent Charlie Lynch. He's really, truly the nicest guy. I've said it before, I'll say it again. He is the nicest man to not only be prosecuted in this building, but to be subject to just outrageous, outrageous uh, federal sentences that in his case could lead to a prison sentence of decades. All right, well, I was definitely glad to hear the, uh, the judge talk about uh, the new policy that's uh, with the new administration's been uh, talking about. Hopefully uh, some of that will help me in my case. I feel like we're, we're teetering on the cusp of change here and the, the war against the, the people, the civil war against the uh, state medical marijuana states has to end somewhere. And um, <coughs> hopefully it's gonna be ending real soon. And, and I'd be, be glad, I'd be honored to be one of the last persons, you know, to be prosecuted and, and so we can end this war against our, the people, you know, who voted in favor of this. And I definitely thank all my supporters who showed up, my attorneys, my family. I've gotten a lot of support from uh, across the nation, across the world even. And I thank everybody for that. And I'm, I'm hoping that Judge Ruse finds a, some compassion, compassion in his heart um, on the, the new sentencing date and, uh, and just uh, lets me not, not, doesn't send me to jail basically.